Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chinese Grammar Simplified. This morning, my student Loic was trying to help a friend find her lost puppy near a neighborhood park in China. Loic made several attempts to talk to the people in the area, but they all seemed a bit confused when Loic asked questions. It occurred to Loic that he should try to build his questions using a grammar pattern that works particularly well for asking for detailed information. That is, the 是的 pattern. But how do we use it? Loic can't remember clearly. Today, to help Loic and his friend find the lost puppy, in the next five minutes, let's break down the 是的 pattern. To start, let's take a closer look at the two characters here. The character 是 can be used as a verb, translated as to be, and all of its variations. And the character 的 is used to connect a description to a noun. For example, if Loic says, 这是我朋友的小狗，它是白色的小狗 He is saying, "This is my friend's puppy. It is a white puppy." Here, 是 is translated as "is." And the clarifies the puppy belongs to my friend, and the puppy is white. These sentences follow the typical structure of subject plus verb plus description the plus object. Now, over time, people have gotten more efficient, or you could say more lazy. People figured out that we could sometimes omit the object of the sentence. If it is already implied or previously established, and that others could still understand us with no problem. For example, if someone asks, 这是谁的小狗？它是什么颜色的小狗？ Loic can just answer, 这是我朋友的，它是白色的。As you can see, Loic omitted the object 小狗 the puppy. But we can still understand that he is saying the same thing as in our very first examples. Actually, English speakers do the same thing in English. When we say the rich and the poor, we're omitting the noun people. When we say let's get some Chinese for dinner, we're omitting the object food. I'm sure you don't eat Chinese people for dinner, right? Now. What makes the 是的 pattern more interesting and often more confusing is when it is used to emphasize a specific aspect of a past event. This usage is quite different from what beginner students are used to seeing. Let's break it down. Normally, when we want to talk about a past event in Chinese, we will often use the marker 了 in combination with mentioning the time. For example, 小狗昨天在公园里和我一起玩球了。The meaning is, the puppy played ball with me yesterday in the park. But to express the same thing, we can actually adopt the 是的 pattern instead. And when we use the 是的 pattern, it allows us to emphasize how, when, where, why, or with whom things were done in the past. The pattern goes: subject, 是 Information to be emphasized, verb, object, da, or subject 是 information to be emphasized, verb, da, object. By using this pattern, the marker 了 is no longer needed. Okay, let's take a look at the following examples. 小狗是昨天在公园里和我一起玩球的。小狗昨天。是在公园里和我一起玩球的。小狗昨天在公园里是和我一起玩球的。While the words in the sentences are exactly the same, by positioning 是 differently, it actually changes the emphasis. The meanings are: It was yesterday when the puppy played ball with me in the park. It was in the park where the puppy. Played ball with me yesterday. It was with me that the puppy played ball in the park yesterday. Interesting, huh? Now, how is this usage of 是的 different from what we talked about earlier? The difference is when 是的 is added to an existing complete sentence, is it used only for emphasis? 
In other words, if you take 是的 away, the sentence should still make sense grammatically. Take a look at these examples. If we take 是的 away, you can still find the subject, the verb, the object of the sentences. The word 是 in these sentences is not used as the main verb. But if we go back to our first group of sentences, when we take the 是的 away, there is no longer a verb. And the sentence will not make sense anymore. The emphasis 是的 is so useful that in modern Chinese, when people want to ask questions about specific information in the past, it's pretty much the default way to go. So, Loic can use the pattern to ask people. 小狗是怎么离开公园的？你是几点看到这只小狗的？你是在哪儿看到这只小狗的？ Can you figure out what he's saying? The answers are: How exactly did the puppy leave the park? When exactly did you see this puppy? Where exactly did you see this puppy? By asking the right questions, Loic and his friends soon found the lost puppy, and now everyone is happy. Great job, Loic! As always, to help you practice, please take a look at the following English sentences and think about how you would say them in Chinese. You can find the answers on my website. If you have any questions about any Chinese grammar point that confuses you, please leave a comment below. For customized Chinese lessons, please reach me at TwinCitiesChineseTutor.us. Thank you for watching.